Hello and welcome back to the channel, I am Pekka and today is Saturday and that means one thing, it means experiment day and we are looking at the four teams that are playing in the National League North and South playoff finals today. Those teams are Dorking Wanderers, Ebbs Fleet, Boston United and York City and we're going to give them all of the money they could ever desire and we're going to simulate through and we're going to give them 25 years and the race to the top is on. Right then, here we go. Time to take you around the four clubs, starting first in the Vanarama National League North, and we'll start with Boston United, who are predicted to finish third. Paul Cox is the manager. They play at the Community Stadium, 4,361 capacity stadium, built in 2020. Uh, one National League title to their name, that was in 2002. Apart from that, a lot of lower league competitions. So professional, there's the money. They are the first team that we're looking at. Secondly is York. They are predicted to finish second. So we've got the second and third teams in Van Rome National League North at the York Community Stadium, 8,512. They're not getting very creative with the stadium names down here, are they? Community Stadium and the York Community Stadium. The one thing that does lead me to ask is who is filed our 1 to 10 on, 10 to 1 on to. Uh, get promoted this season and then into the Van Rama National League South so let's look at Dorking Wanderers they're predicted to finish second Mark White is the manager and a club legend which and the owner so that's going to be interesting they play at the 3000 seat at Meadowbank Stadium and lastly we have Ebsfleet United we played Stonebridge Road, built in 1905, 4,769 capacity. Uh, Lee Martin, why do I know that name? Came through the books at Wimbledon, went to Manchester United. This might be why I know he is at Forest, Ipswich, Charlton, Millwall. Ah, I think this is where I know him from. Yes, so. Well, no name there, captain in the side, and Joe Martin as well. Is he any relation? I don't think he will be, will he? None that I can see. He came through the ranks at Tottenham. So, some very uh, reputable players in this Ebsfleet side. I know I've only looked at Ebsfleet, but it was just the first one that came to my mind with those two uh, two names in there. So, those are the four teams. They're predicted to finish fourth. So, before we do that, we'll just check who's going to win the Vanarama. Oh, Ebsfleet are top, according to the media. So, that was a complete lie. So absolutely top. Dorking in third. And then in the National League North. Ah, slightly different. I didn't notice that. Boston a second. York are down in ninth. So let's see, five years into the future, what these teams can do. So five years into the future, let's do this in alphabetical order. So first up, we have Boston. Without a B on the end, uh, Boston United are fifth in the Vanarama National League. Paul Lambert's the manager there now. That's a interesting development. So in the seasons since they've had the money, 21-22 uh, they finished eighth, then fourth, then promoted in third, so through the playoffs, then eighth in the National League, and then tenth, predicted to finish in seventeenth this year in the National League. Already spent nearly two hundred million of their money. Training facilities and youth facilities look pretty good. Quick look at the landmarks. Stadium has increased. And that seems it. I'm guessing there is some, uh, something in the works in terms of uh, facilities. we we'll just have a quick look at the managers as well. So, Paul Cox was sacked. Ben Marvin came in for 11 days as caretaker. Mark Robbins took the job for just under two years. He was sacked. And Paul Lambert's been there for two and a half years. And... I don't know if he's the one that got them promoted. He joined in December of 2023. And he was the one that got them promoted to the National League. So, Boston United, five years, haven't done fantastically well. Let's move on next to Dorking Wanderers, who are ninth in Skybet League 2. Dorking Stadium, 6,000 capacity stadium, built in 2024. Mark White is still the manager there. Training facilities and youth facilities are not great. They don't know that they've made any improvements to that. Um, they went to King's Meadow for a little bit. Stadium capacity increased 6,000 and they're back there this season. They went to the People's Pension Stadium, which is 
Crawley's ground. Uh, so let's have a quick look. They went in 2021 20, 22. They finished first, won the league, 15th, 10th, 3rd, and then went through the playoffs to get promoted. And then they finished 18th in Skybet League 2, consolidated their place there. Next up is Ebbsfleet. And they are 11th in the Vanarama National League. So since 2021, they got promoted in the first season, second place, went up through the playoffs. Darren Ferguson is the manager there. Then they finished fourth, then they finished second, 12th, and then 13th. So they were around the top of the table. They predicted to finish third this coming season. Uh, fell away in the last two years, 12th and 13th. So not great there. Just a quick look at their managers. So they've been through a fair few managers. Uh, Dennis Kudriet, Briep, uh, he was the manager until 2023, and then they went through a couple of managers, Steve Cooper, Milos Veselinovic, both under a year, and Darren Ferguson has been there 291 days thus far. Not really got anyone in for any prolonged period of time, really, and they sit in the Van Arnhem National League too. So, so far, Dorking are the best of the bunch, and then we go to York, who are uh, 24... Right, so they're in the Van Arnhem National League North. So how have they done then? They finished 19th, then 10th, then 5th. Then they won it in 24-25 and went back down the following season. Georges Boateng is the manager there. Let's have a look what's happened. So John Askey was the manager. He got sacked in the December of that year. Caretaker manager Mick McCarthy came in. He was there 122 days. He got sacked. Kenny Jackett was there 156 days. He got sacked. Dave Penny back in as a caretaker. Mila Yedinak did just shy of three years before getting sacked. One league win. And George Boateng has been there for about half a year. Not really done anything just yet. He joined on the 10th of the 1st, 2026. So earlier on this year, he'd been there six months. Uh, would have overseen the relegation back down to the Vanarama National League North. So that's what he is going to be doing trying to get them back up we're going to look through the season so we're going to start with Vanarama National League North so uh, the teams we want are Boston so Gateshead and Cor uh, Chorley went up in the first season Foyle and Gloucester went up in the second season South Shields and then Boston went up in the playoffs they beat Chester 2-1 in the playoff final 2024-25 season, York won the league. Chester missing out just again in second. Chorley went up with them. 25-26 was Boreham Wood and Alchincombe. And then this is the current season. So we shouldn't have to look into the Vanarama National League. Wait, we do, because York went back down. So we will have to check the Vanarama National League North again. I thought we were out of that. Vanarama National League South. Go back to the 21-22 season. So Dorking and Ebbsfleet both up at the first time of Asking Ebbsfleet beat having to Waterlooville in the playoff final, so that got them up. I don't think they come, did they come back down? No, they didn't come back down either. So they went up. So National League South is done and dusted. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the Vanarama National League then to see how some of these teams have been getting on with one another. So in the season just gone, Stockport went up just as they did in real life. Wrexham finished third, Chesterfield went up in the playoffs. So in the following season, Ebbsfleet finished fourth. Uh, let's look at the playoff final. Did they make the playoff final? No, Woking did. Um, right, we're going too far back there. So, Boston finished fourth in the... Right, oh, we're back to the Vanarama National League North. That was That's frustrating. Right, okay. Vanarama National League. So, second season, Ebbsfleet finished fourth. They were the only team out of ours that got into the playoffs. They lost to Aldershot in the first round next Ebbsfleet came second uh, none of the other teams made it in there who did Ebbsfleet miss out to this time did they make the final no they didn't semis they lost to Solly or Moores who then lost in the final to Barrow so wasn't looking great then Woking got promoted they won the league Dorking went up in the playoffs, they beat Aldershot on penalties that season, and then the season just gone up to Port Vale and South End. So, we're just going to quickly look at League Two as well for the last season. Uh, Dorking finished in 18th, 56 points, pretty comfortable, stayed up. So, that is the first five years. 
I'd put money on it being one of the northern teams, on being York or Boston staying up, but it has been Ebbsfleet who have made the jump into the Football League and not Ebbsfleet, sorry, Dorking that have made the jump into the Football League and that look like they're starting to establish themselves. 18th place, no worries about going down in that first season. Hopefully they can build on that and we'll show you that in another five years. Now we're 10 years into the future. I was going to do it in alphabetical order. Then I decided I was going to do it in the order that how the teams were getting on. Then I realised that that was probably going to be in alphabetical order because New York were still in the Vanarama National League North and Dorking were in League 2. So we've gone back to doing the alphabetical order. So we'll start off with Dorking Wanderers. And they are still in the at League 2 since we were last there. They, f they finished 21st, just surviving by the skin of the teeth. 16th, 5th, 16th and then 7th. So they've had a couple of good finishes there. I now predicted to finish 8th. Mark White is still the manager there. Still at the Dorking Stadium. 6,000 capacity stadium there. Um, yeah, so nothing's happened. That pretty steady. Um, just that Vanarama National League South Trophy. Nothing else. And that's... Pretty dull, pretty dull, pretty boring, but they've established themselves. They are a team that were around the top of the table, apart from that one bad finish there in 16th. We'll have a look at the league tables at the end of the uh, at the end of this little period when we've looked at all the teams, but established as a League 2 side. So we'll move on next to Ebbsfleet, and they are 8th in Skybet League 1. I say 8th. They're in Skybet League 1, obviously, in alphabetical order because of the time of year it is. So since we were last with them in the 26 27 season they finished second they then finished second again the following season but got promoted finished 14th in league two then third to go automatically and in the last season they finished 19th in league one darren ferguson still the manager there um youth and training facilities upgraded stadium increased to 5269 and Darren Ferguson has been there now five years and 291 days, just shy of six years. And he hasn't had any legal cup wins, but he's got them promoted to League One. Been an absolute wonderful couple of years for them. Really bounced on. I did think uh, Dorking was still going to be the team near the top, but they're not. Ebbsfleet have overtaken them now. They are in League One. Um, just going to quickly go back to Dorking Wonders because... How long has Mark White now been in the job there? He has been in there since... It doesn't say. Is he unsackable? Is he just going to keep going till, till he's done? Um, if I go to his biography, he... I think he took the job in 2009. Contract info. He's the owner. So, yeah, he's he can just... Go do whatever he wants. So he's still the manager there. Uh, next, we are moving to Boston. I realised I said I was doing it in alphabetical order. Boston were first, so I wasn't doing it in alphabetical order, was I? So I took her anchor as the manager there. They are now in Skybet League 2. They got promoted from the National League as champions in 28-29, got relegated, and then went straight back up in the playoffs in 2030-31 season. Um, I thought I said New Jack then. <laughs> Jack New is the top prospect and has a face. I thought I'd stop that happening at the moment. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it as his landmarks. Anything good happened? Doesn't seem to be. There was a couple of. Jean Ku Park was a, uh, failed in a takeover bid. He's a tycoon. That would have been. That would have been an interesting development. Still at the community stadium in Boston. Professional. Uh, facilities looking better. The junior uh, coaching and youth recruitment nearly getting up to gold stars as well. So they are not in a bad place. We'll just quickly look at the managers before we go. Paul Lambert did just under six and a half years before getting sacked. Ita Karanka has been there since the start of last season. Uh, so... What's he going to do in the next five years? And we'll look lastly at York, who were the lowest ranked team last time out. York are now in Skybet League 2. Wow, they've turned that around. So all of the clubs now are in the Football League. So 26-27, they finished second in the Vanarama National League North. Then they won it. Then they finished third in the National League, down to 11th. And then they won the National League, which means they'll have their first season in Skybet League 2. Um, a league which they won in 1984 
there at the York Community Stadium. That's eight and a half thousand. I think that's been improved since last time. David Fox is the manager there. Uh, Georges Boateng lasted just one day short of four years uh, before getting sacked. And David Fox has been there about 18 months now. So he's getting his feet under the table. He's got them obviously promoted. In terms of landmarks, nothing noticeable here. So, we need to the Vanarama National League North. We'll have a quick look at the stages of this one. So, when they won the league, they were champions. 109 points. They absolutely smashed it in the year they went up. Uh, the first year after it, they finished second. So, they were really looking promising. So, we'll go back to the 26-27 season. Absolutely finished second. They didn't go up that year. Boston down there in seventh. Following season, absolutely went up in the playoffs. They beat... Cambridge in the final 28-29 season Boston won the league Cambridge went up in the playoffs there they beat Halifax in extra time what are we going back to the north for um, so then the following season uh, where are we looking York finished in 11th then the 30-31 season York went up as champions Boston got promoted through the playoffs they beat Barnet 4-0 in the final. Comprehensive victory. Yorks won 107 points that season. So, well, they, they got promoted from both leagues with 100 plus points. So let's go back to the 26-27 season and to Skybet League 2. So let's have a look at our teams here. So Dorking finished in 21st place in that season. Following season, Dorking there in 16th. None of the others of our four teams are in there just yet. The following season, Dorking made the playoffs. Did they get to the final of the playoffs? No, they didn't. Oldham made the final of the playoffs. Absolute finished down in 14th. We're still looking out for Boston and York. So Boston got relegated there 23. Third, 43.6 points behind. Ebbsfleet got promoted coming third behind Charlton, Charlton and Oldham. Bolton went up. Where were Dorking? They finished 16th steady in League Two. Following season, Dorking finished seventh. Did they make the playoff final there? They did. They lost to Colchester in the final there. And that is all for that. So oh, wait, we're going to have a quick look at Skybet League 1 because, as we saw, Ebsley went up, finished 19th. Pretty comfortable in all, you know, won 16 games out of 46. Seven points clear of the, uh, of the relegation zone. They stayed up. So now we have uh, one team in Skybet League 1. There is Ebsley. And then in Skybet League 2, we have York, Dorking, and Boston, so all four teams are now football league clubs, and five more years, let's see if any of them can progress up close to the championship. This time, we're going to look at Ebsfleet first, because they were the team in League One. Let's see how they get getting on, and that is a sight to behold. Phil Neville is the manager there. We'll quickly look at the managers before we go through. So, Darren Ferguson was there for just over six years. He got sacked Caretaker position of Chris Hill, Stella Stolbacken, former Wolves manager there for just over two years. He left and then Phil Neville came in in 2034, so he's been there now. Came in in March 2034, so he's been there about 15 months or so. Ebbsfleet, since the 30-31 season where they finished 19th, they finished 18th again. Then they finished 3rd, must, must have gone up in the playoffs there. Then 15th, 10th. And fifth in the Skybook Championship. Media prediction of seventh. Training facilities absolutely maxed out at five star. Youth facilities four star. Junior coaching one star. Youth recruitment two stars. Stonebridge Road is now holding 8,000, I believe. Yes, so they went to Craven Cottage for a little bit. Back at Stone Road, um, Stonebridge Road with the 8,000 capacity in the Championship. So what? A few years this has been they have made their way up leading the way still got a lot of money in the club still got 724 million in the club looking absolutely fantastic we're gonna go to boston next if we can get there boston oh wow ita karanka has taken them to fourth 
um, I say fourth, this you know, that's called taking it to the Sky Bet Championship. Uh, so in the 30 31 season, they got promoted in second. So in the last five years, they finished ninth, eighth, fifth, missing out in the playoffs, and then came second, automatic promotion, and then back to back promotion, second in League One. Which would have got them up to the championship. So this year will be their first year in the championship. I to crank are doing the job. Three and a half star training facilities, three star youth facilities. They are at Meadow Lane, which is not County's ground. So why are they there? Guessing. Where do we look? Facilities. Uh, Going to go back to the community stadium. Seven thousand five hundred eighty-nine seat community stadium in. December of this coming year, so they'll be back there. Ida Cranker has been there now for pretty much bang on six years, joined in 2030. It'll be six years tomorrow. Um, that they would have been there, done an absolutely fantastic job. Three promotions, no league wins, but three promotions. Great job from him. Next up, we are going to go to Dorking Wanderers. And they are fifth in Skybet League One, so they got promoted. So they finished sixteenth the, the first season after the last uh, last time we were here. Then they finished third, went up automatically. Then seventeenth, twelfth, and thirteenth. Dorking Wanderers are a team that seem to get promoted and just completely solidify their place in the division before making a move to get promoted. Uh, so Mark White is now gone. Derek Adams is the manager now. Mark White left in 2031, so he sacked himself. Uh, so then Darren Ferguson came in, Darren Ferguson being at a number of our clubs. Uh, so he, right, where am I going? Where am I going? Right, so. Biography. So he has been at Ebbsfleet and Dorking, so two of the managers, um, two of the clubs where we are. Looking at training facilities, four star, youth facilities, three and a half star. Any landmarks? Doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, landmarks. Stalking uh, Stadium, which was holds 6,000. They're back at that now. Built in 2024. Derek Adams is the manager. So, they're in Skybet League 1. Then, lastly, let's see how York are getting on. Are they still a football league club? They are. They're in Skybet League 1. Last time we were there, they just got promoted. So, they finished fourth in Skybet League 2, missing out in the playoffs. Then they won Skybet League 2, Skybet League 1 20th, then 19th, then 15th, just settling themselves in the league. So that is a league title win in 2020, 2033, along with two National League North titles in 25 and 28. That is the one thing I didn't look at, actually. Dorking Wanderers, uh, the one Van Rama National League South title in 2022. Boston United got that one National League title in 2029. And then I thought we'd go straight back to it, but no. And Ebbsfleet haven't won anything yet. So that's interesting to uh, to see, really. Uh, if we go down to Skybet League 2, we'll go into stages, and we'll look from the 31-32 season. So York made the playoffs there. And they didn't make the final. So that's the first season. Uh, none of the rest of our teams got there. 32-33, Dorking went up third place. York went up as champions. Boston just missed out on the playoffs. 20-33-34, Boston came fifth and lost out to Crawley in extra time. Uh, do, 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 do. And then the following season, Boston went up automatically. York weren't up by this point then I'm guessing so then 25-36 am I being completely blind here? Did, oh York went up didn't they so yeah so Boston went up in second there and that should be all of us all of our teams gone from League 2 now so we'll have a quick look at League 1 from this point um, forget that it resets you when you get to there so Ebbsfleet finished in 18th there, pretty comfortable, uh, 10 points clear of the relegation places. Then they finished third, automatic, um, not automatic promotion in this division, they won the playoffs, they beat Burton in the playoff final. Had any of our teams got up there by this point? 
No, they hadn't. So they'd rushed ahead. Following season, York just survived on goal difference. Two better goal difference than Peterborough, which sent them down to League Two. They stayed up Dorking there in 17th. 2034-35 season, so York in 19th, looking up Dorking in 12th, and the 25 um, 35 36 season we have York in 15th, Dorking in 13th, and Boston there getting promoted in second place up into League One. It's very interesting now how they're racing to the top. I've got to be honest. So for this season, for this now Boston and Ebsfleet both sitting in the championship. Uh, where are they predicted to finish? I didn't see that. So Boston predicted to finish 23rd. Dork, uh, not Dorking. Ebsfleet predicted to finish 6th. So there's a chance of a Premier League team here as we're now going to go five more years into the future, 20 years ahead. Definitely think Ebsfleet deserve to be looked at first now as we're 20 years into the future. Let's have a look. This is the first real real success of a save they're at the 23,665 capacity Ebbsfleet Stadium they're in the Premier League they got promoted in 28 and um, 38 39 second place in the championship then they got relegated bottom of the league and then went up again second place so they haven't won they've not literally they've literally won nothing but they are a Premier League club they've done the business their managers Ross Phil Neville got sacked just over four years into the job Ross Barkley came in for just under a year, didn't do anything at all. Phil Neville got didn't get any promotions in his time. That's okay. And then Malachi Grice has had two promotions and one relegation. He's been at the club for a little while now. He has got them into a position where they are pushing for that Premier League spot. Five hundred thirty million pounds in the bank. Four and a half star training facilities. Four star youth facilities. Junior coaching two. Youth recruitment two and a half. This club is in a very very good place right now. And hopefully they can stop being a yo-yo club. They can establish themselves as a Premier League team. Uh, we're going to do the rest in alphabetical order. So we're going to go to Boston next. And for some reason it didn't type. Is it going to show me Boston? Boston United are in the Skybet Championship. They got... So they got promoted at the end of the last clip. Isco Munoz is the manager there. They finished 12th, 9th, 16th. 14th and then third so they made the playoffs in the season just gone four star training facilities three and a half star youth half a star uh, junior coaching and one star youth recruitment uh decent the, they're at the paul bastock arena now 16,543. paul bastock is a club legend he um so was he at the club I am not sure. Did I completely miss his career stats? No. Okay. Maybe I've missed something there, but odd to call, he's a club legend, so we're not going to argue there. Still got 420 million in the bank. Championship club, doing absolutely fantastic. Just those National League titles, the one in 2029, nothing else won for them. So. As well as these clubs are doing, I'm slightly disappointed they haven't won any more competitions. Thought they might have done. I say that, we're only halfway through these clubs. Next up is Dorking Wanderers. And they are in the Skybet Championship as well. They So in the 2036-37 season, they won the league. Then 6th in the Championship, 14th, 3rd in the Championship and 20th. So they're up and down. They have one uh, trophy in their cabinet since we started this. That is the Skybet League. No, wait, second trophy, sorry, the Skybet League won 15 years after winning the Van Rama National League South. Pippa is the manager there. Quickly look at who's gone through since Mark White left. Ruben Diaz and Issa Diop were both managers for a little while. They are at the Dorking Stadium, holds 7,960. Uh, still there, still a small stadium for a championship club. But they have established themselves now in the championship. A bit up and down. Media prediction is 14th for the coming season. So we might not be seeing them in the Premier League any time soon. And that just leaves York City to have a look at. They are also in the Skybet Championship since the last time we were here. Second in the Skybet League. One in the first year. 14th, 20th, 9th and 12th. So they haven't made the playoffs in any of them. But they have 
been mid-table side, got promoted in that first season, after, like I say, after the last time we were here. David Fox is still the manager. He's been there 11 years and 165 days, two league wins, three promotions. He surely is a club legend. No, he's just on the favourite piece. He's managed the club for 11 years, got promoted three times, and he's just a club legend. That is slightly disappointing. I think all the teams had gone from League 2 last time we saw. So we're going to go to stages of League 1. We're going to have a quick look through. 2036-37, Dorking won the league. York just behind them. Uh, none of the other teams made it into the playoff season after that. No such luck with any of the teams. Then Southend, Portsmouth, Middlesbrough, QPR, Hull and Lincoln all making promotion pushes. Nothing there. Had we all, has everyone gone from League One at this point? Is this what I'm missing? Is everyone? Is every, surely not everyone's battling in the Championship by this point. So let's go to the 2036-37 season. So we've got Ebbsfleet who finished fifth. Did they make the playoff final? No, they didn't. Out in the um, in the semi-finals. So Boston finished twelfth there. So this season. Dorking finished in six. We just checked the playoff final. They didn't make the playoff final there. So Dorking finished six. Boston finished ninth. Ebbsfleet finished thirteenth, and York finished fourteenth. So yeah, so everyone was in the Scottish Championship by 2037-38. Ebbsfleet went up second behind Wolves, ninety-five points. None of the other teams making it there. York in twentieth, Boston in sixteenth, and Dorking in fourteenth. 39-40 season, Dorking in third. Did they make the playoff final here? No, they didn't. Uh, let's have a quick look down. York in ninth and Boston in 14th. And in the season just gone, Edgefleet went back up again. Second place, 83 points. Less points than they had the season that they went up the first time. Boston finished in third place, three points behind and lost 3-1 to Southampton at Wembley in the playoff final. Met York finished in 12th and Dorking finished in 20th so we have five more years left to go are we going to have more than one Premier League team things are looking very very promising hopefully that can be the way as we go into the final stages of this simulation so for the final time we'll do this one in alphabetical order as we cycle through the teams everyone is a championship club or higher firstly alphabetical order will be Boston let's have a look they are still in the Skybet Championship so since the 41 42 season they finished 13th then 7th then in 5th then in 12th then in 11th so they made the playoff once still got a lot of money in the bank still at the paul bastock arena 16 and a half thousand isco munoz is still the manager as well he's been there just shy of six years uh, no trophies to add to just that one uh, national league trophy in 2029 established as a top end championship club right now media prediction is 10th for the coming season i think boston have been very very successful in getting themselves up over the last 25 years really got a good infrastructure in place junior coaching youth recruitment is a little bit lower than i'd have liked the training facilities at four star the youth facilities at three and a half star they're in a very very good place after 25 years of the money nextly we look at dorking uh wonders i said nextly as well Weirdly, so they are back at Craven Cottage. Why are they at Craven Cottage? Back to facilities. They are due to move to the 21,000 capacity Mark White Stadium. Has he died? Is that why they've uh, they've given him? I know that sounds really harsh, but he's no longer clickable. Uh, that's awkward. Uh, right. Tinashi Piri is the manager now. He has been there uh, just shy of a year. He said Diop was there. He had one league win in his 197 days. That was after Kunt Temenshukov. I said this game is challenging me. Who'd been there for just under a year. Left his role. So he left them in a good position. He said Diop took the job on. And got them promoted. And then left. So that's strange. Right. So they're still in the Skybet Championship. They had a promotion 44-45 then got relegated in 18th place from the Premier League. That is very disappointing. They have a Skybet Championship and a Skybet League One. So they won the Vanarama National South in 2022, won the National um, the League One in 37, and the Skybet Championship in 45. So 
what's it, 15 years between those two and eight years between those two. Four star training facilities, four star youth facilities, one star junior coaching, one star youth recruitment. I spent over half their money thus far. Not looking too bad. A year at Craven Cottage, well, a year or two at Craven Cottage, it seems. But they are now pushing to become a Premier League side. And that means next up we look at Ebbsfleet, who are in the sky in the Premier League, sorry. So since we were last here, they just got promoted again. They finished tenth, then they finished fifteenth, thirteenth, then they got relegated, finishing eighteenth, and then won the league to come straight back up. Good youth infrastructure um infrastructure here. Four and a half star training, four star youth, three star junior coaching, three and a half star youth recruitment. They have 111 million in the bank, so they've spent near enough all of their money. Uh, Nick Powell is the manager. Is that Nick Powell who was at Wigan and Manchester United? It is from Crew. I remember when he was a bit of a superstar coming through the ranks at Crew. Went to Man United's career, never really took off after that. Spent some time in League One of the Championship with Wigan. Do remember that. Didn't remember him going to Stoke though where he is currently, ended his career at Stoke in 25, 26, uh, how long has he been in the job floor for, he has been in the job for half a year, taking over from Androni Iraola, who was there for just under a year, so not much stability in terms of managers, Malachi Grice was the one, two promotions, one relegation, the last one to stay over a year he was, three years, just shy of four years before he got sacked. So not much stability at Ebb's Fleet, but they are still in and around the Premier League. After spending a few years in there, they got relegated straight back up. Media prediction for this season is 17th. And lastly, we will look at York. And they are in the Premier League as well, and they've been in there twice. So since last time, they finished 7th in the Championship, just missed out on the playoffs. 3rd uh, in the Championship, got promoted through the playoffs. 18th went back down, then they finished second, automatic promotion, and they finished 11th in the season just gone. Samuel Ricci, or Ricci is the manager at the Keith Walwyn Stadium, 21,000 capacity stadium. How long has Samuel been there? He has been there just shy of a year now. Again, after David Fox left after 14 years with his four promotions and two league uh, victories, he left replaced by Angelino did just over a year one promotion one relegation and he has gone since so they need to get a bit more stability back um one thing i didn't check as well is any competition victories doesn't seem to be any for york i'm gonna flip back through ebb's fleet just the skybet championship Dorking are the same and Boston so no cup wins at all no Papa John's no FA trophies no um, league cups FA cups anything like that just a couple of league uh, titles through all of them I'm going to go and have a look at the championship uh, go through the stages so back to the 41-42 season so Dorking finished in fourth in that season did they make the playoffs final no they didn't make the playoff final there 42-43, York went up in third. They beat Dorking in the finals. So two of our teams making the playoff final there. Boston just missed out in seventh. Boston finished in fifth that season. Lost in the playoff final to Burnley. 20-44-45, Dorking won the league, 89 points. York with 88 in second and then... Boston finished down in 12th and in the 2045-46 season Ebbsley won the league went back up 106 points 4 games lost all season and Boston down there in 11th so very interesting we have well we're going to check, actually check the Premier League before we get too hyped up on it Ebbsley there in 10th 42-43 just looking through Ebbsley in 15th just them. York got relegated there in 18th. Ebbsfleet in 13th. Season after that, Ebbsfleet got relegated in 18th. That's the only one there. Dorking relegated in 18th in the 45 46 season. York in 11th. So it's been very, very interesting. Just going to have a quick look at the uh, 
Premier League past winners. Man City won the last two. Chelsea won four in a row. Man City, Chelsea. So they're pretty much sharing it between them. Liverpool got one in 31, 32. So they're pretty much sharing it between themselves. Now, I said at the start it was going to be 25 years. I'm very interested to see how another 20, 30, 40 years with these clubs, with this infrastructure that they've now built and where they are, whether they can go on to all become Premier League clubs. So I think there is a good chance that we are going to be back in this world very, very soon as I think we'll look maybe another 25 years into the future and let's see how these clubs get on because this is the most success we've had with an AI simulation and I'm really, really excited to see if all four of them can break into the upper echelons of the Premier League because all of them are close. They're all, they're all, you know, around that mark. And I just want to see if they can finish the job. So for the first time, there will be a part two, and it will probably be next weekend. And hopefully, it is something you want to see. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel. That's the right one. Definitely, I'm not going to edit that out. There's no point. Um, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you later on this evening as we're back in Stockport. Stockport, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, before we're back in Brazil, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of next week. Part two of this will be next Saturday morning. And also look out on the channel uh, for this coming week, Sunday through to Friday at half past ten in the morning. There's going to be a little special uh, tribute, as we'll call it, to one of the best, well, to one of the most well-known non-league players that is, I think, retiring this weekend. But look out for that on the channel in the coming days. Like I say, if you like the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and thank you, and goodbye.